Lock dudes, thanks for joining me in Matt's lock bit. So before we proceed with today's video, I'd quickly like to point out this little warning right by here, everyone. So if you have some sort of aversion to the word fuck, I'll be brutally honest with you guys, this video probably isn't going to be your cup of tea. That being said, if you don't mind a few sentence enhancers, my advice would be to strap yourselves in, grab yourself some Kleenex, maybe some baby wipes, and brace yourself for some serious pit pornography. So as we can see, we've got a black tube, and inside this black tube is one sexy ass motherfucker made by the incredibly talented XB Mods Locksport. And we all know XB Mods make some absolutely beautiful picks. So, before we have a look at this marvellous pick, what I thought we could do was share with you a little idea I had for a custom pick display. So it's no secret, I fucking love custom picks. So not only do I want to use them, I actually want to be able to display them. I was trying to think of something that would not only be cheap, but it would be easy and DIY. And to be honest guys, this is the solution I came up with. It's not pretty, it's not elegant, but at the same time it's not half bad. I'll spin the camera around and we'll have a little look. So as we can see, this is my little picking area. This is actually where I record all of my YouTube videos. If we have a look up on the wall here, it's as simple as some electrical cable trunking stuck to the wall. As I said, it's not elegant, but it gives you good access and you get a clear look. So I know what you're thinking. Let's have a closer look at these beautiful picks. So we'll zoom in and we'll have a look one by one. So first up's Jason Carlson, followed by a Mr. Taz Evers. Next up, we've got a Mr. John Eggington, followed by a Jason Carlson. Next up, a UK lock picker. And then we got another John Eggington, followed by another Daz Evers. Jason Carlson again. Next up, Wes Picks. Yet another from Jason Carlson. We have a compilation pick from John Eggington and Daz Evers, followed by a Boy Bilbo 81. Last but not least, we've got a little mini pick here from Jason Carlson. And this gap right here, this is where the new edition from XB Mods is going to go. So as I said, guys, it's not elegant. It's as simple as cable trunking on the wall, but it does its job. There we go, a nice bit of extra pit porn for you all. So if any of the makers of those beautiful masterpieces are actually watching this video, I'd like to take a quick second to thank you all once again. Absolutely love them. Each and every one of those is phenomenal. But now it's time to see the new edition. And would you feast your eyes on that? Absolutely gorgeous. My lighting in here is not the best at the moment. However, look at that beautiful tip. So some of you have noticed, XB Mods usually makes his pick handles from acrylic, corian and other materials rather than woods. Me being the lucky son of a bitch that I am, I've actually gone and wangled the first ever wooden one that he sent out. It's an absolute pride and an honour to own this and it's a very, very welcome to my collection. So thank you Jason, needless to say, I fucking love it. So let's jump into some images, see if we can get a better look at this and I'll talk you through the specs of this pick. So next on the pick walk, we have a sexy little number from XB Mods Locksport. As you can see, the leopard wood dress fits beautifully along the full tang body, which is made from Stretch 667 in only 17 thousandths of an inch. To complement the dress, she's also wearing a set of 925 sterling silver rings, and I think we can all agree, she's an absolute beauty. Holy fuck balls. Well I think, we can all agree that this is an absolute beauty, absolutely love it. So once again, Jason, my friend, thank you so, so much. As I said earlier, it's an honor to have it as part of my collection. I'm hoping some of you enjoyed the custom pick display. If anyone actually fancies making one for themselves, electrical cable trunking can be found in many, many places. However, I get mine from Wilco's. It costs me £2.50 for two meters, so it's as cheap as chips. I'm gonna sign off here, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like, please leave a comment, and if you haven't done already, guys, please consider subscribing. Every sub makes a difference. Take it easy, everyone. Bye now.